Dear students and my dear viewers, welcome back. In the previous session, we have discussed about the external features of the kidney. Now in this session, we are going to discuss about the surface anatomy of the kidney, both posterior as well as on the anterior aspects. Okay. Normally, the surface marking of the kidney on the posterior aspect of the body is done by drawing the Morris quadrilateral. Okay. So before that, um, where the exact position of this uh, kidney is located on the posterior aspect. So the two kidneys are located in between the levels of T11, T11 spine and at the level up to the level of L3. So up to the level of L3. So the both the kidneys are located in between uh, these two spinal levels. Okay. Now, now we are going to discuss about this uh, Morris quadrilateral. So this such kind of um, quadrilaters are drawn on the posterior aspect of the surface of the body. So here you can see the Morris quadrilateral uh, which is drawn on the posterior aspect of the body. So how can you draw this Morris quadrilateral? Now we will discuss. Okay. So first of all, we have to draw two horizontal lines at the level of T11 and at the level of L3. Okay. And so this horizontal line should be present both sides. So left as well as on the right sides. Okay. Now, so after uh, drawing this uh, horizontal lines, you have to... Uh, kept two points on this horizontal line one is 2.5 centimeters 2.5 centimeters and so 2.5 centimeters means you will get the points at this level so both on upper horizontal line as well as on the lower horizontal line so I will show with another color so these are the two points so on the upper side and on the lower side both on both the right side as well as the left side so this is the point these are the points one is from uh, uh, one is the 2.5 centimeters and another one is the 9 centimeters from the posterior median plane from the posterior median plane you have to kept these points and after pointing uh, these four points you have to connect all these points that means you'll get another two horizontal lines and two vertical lines so this is the called as Morris quadrilateral and you have to draw the kidneys inside this uh, quadrilateral and another important thing is the middle of the hilum is the middle of the hilum of every kidney is located roughly at the lower border of L1 vertebrae at the lower border of L1 vertebrae this is called as the Morris quadrilateral by this way we can mark the position of the kidney on the posterior aspect now we will move on to the anterior aspect yes here you can see this anterior uh, surface anatomy of the kidney so to draw the kidneys on the anterior abdominal wall first the hilo of the kidney should be marked so this one is the hilo of the kidneys should be marked so each hilum is a vertical line of uh, 2.5 centimeters length the lower end of the left hilum and the upper end of the right hilum so that means here you can find this so the upper end of the right hilum and the lower end of the left hilum so which are located or which are lie on the transpyloric plane which are lie on the transpyloric plane and and these hilum are um, 
located 5 centimeters this hilum are located 5 centimeters away from the midline so from the hilum of this uh, outline from the hilum of the outlines of the kidney can be drawn having their usual size in the mind so we have already discussed the size and all so you have to make this points hilum as the uh, starting point to draw the kidneys on the anterior aspect by keeping their size their usual size in mind so these are are all the surface anatomy of the kidneys and um, and these uh, surface anatomy of the kidney in surgical practice is very important to be aware of the anterior and posterior relationships of the kidney so that's all about the surface of surface anatomy of the kidney in the next session we are going to discuss about the relations of the kidney thank you